Welcome to the Easy PC Branching Dialog Getting Started video. Here, I'll show you the steps needed to add this tool into your project. The Easy PC Branching Dialog tool is a visual, node based editor extension which allows for easy creation, editing, and implementation of dialog trees into your project. In this example scene included in the project, I have a character which can move around, jump, and collect coins. However, I cannot interact with the NPC I've created yet. The first step that I took was to create my dialog tree. I created a new EasyPC dialog tree scriptable object via the project window, and then in the node editor window I created nodes and linked them up to make the branching dialog tree that I wanted. Take a look at the features video to learn more about the nodes and how to fill out a dialog tree. After creating the dialog tree, it's time to add some code. In your player controller script, we need to add a few functions. First, we need to make a process conversation function. This will control the player inputs while they are in a conversation. We also need to add a few checks to see if the player has entered a conversation, but this will vary based on your own character controller script. Inside process conversation, we can use the conversation update function from our UI manager to advance the conversation dialog. Moving to the UI Manager, this is meant to simply add into your existing manager. Here is the UI canvas I created for conversations. It has a space for the name, image, dialog, and player options. The code itself has a lot of public variables, simply because of the work needed to set it up. But you'll only need to add two sections, the NPC with actions and the easy BC branch of dialog. The NPC with actions list contains NPCs that have actions related to their dialogue, which we'll discuss later. The Easy PC Branching Dialogue contains two things. First, the Easy PC Tree Reader. This controls everything related to branching dialogue, and it will be how you get your information out of the tree and into your game. It can go anywhere, I just put it on the UI Manager here. The second thing in the Easy PC Branching Dialogue header is the Easy PC Info Holder. This is a useful prefab we'll cover in a bit. Inside the code for the UI Manager, you can see it looks mostly like a basic UI Manager. However, I recommend reading it through so you understand how everything is related. The important code starts around line 120 with Conversation Update. This is a function called by the player to advance dialogue. In here, it calls for the Easy PC Reader to go to the next node, get info from it, and then do actions based on the node type in the function next node code. However, if we're looking at a branching node, we call the player choice. Feel free to copy this code directly into your manager script, and make sure to create and set all of the local variables that come with it. One last thing you'll need to copy is the easy peasy reader.setTree function. This takes in a tree and assigns it to the reader to be read. Take a look at the toggle conversation UI function called in the player controller script when the player starts a conversation to see more of how it works. Back in Unity, it's time to talk about the easy peasy info holder. This prefab, found in the resources folder of the tool, contains two major lists. The first being a list of global variables, and the second a list of all the dialog trees. This prefab persists between scenes, so you'll only need one. After adding all the dialog trees into the list for easy calling of the dialog tree, you can create a global variable. I've created one called character, and I'm going to use the int value to track how many coins I've picked up. You can see how I apply the coin changes in the onTriggerEnter function of the player controller script. Also, as the header says, remember to apply all changes to the prefab, otherwise your variables and dialog trees won't be accessible in-game. Lastly, let's take a look at the NPC script. This is not needed for the tool to function, but instead it is a way of showing off how you can get variables from trees to call functions or affect gameplay. On your NPC, add the tree related to them, and then you can add something I'm calling a logic list. I won't go over how every line of code works, but essentially, after every dialog option, it checks the global variables and local variables of the tree against a bit of logic. If it returns true, then a function is called. The specific action is done, 
defined in the code with a combination of structs and enums, allows me to disable and enable game objects through the process variable changes function and then the process action function. You can see the code call these checks in the UI Manager script at the bottom of the conversation update function. I hope this video helps you understand how to get started with the Easy PC Branching Dialog tool. I have two more videos, a features video and an example video, that you can watch as well. Remember to read the README, and if you have any questions, please contact me at easypctools at gmail.com.